Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Definitive Guide to 2K or Harris Guide, what are we calling it these days? Harris Guide 2K Definitive Edition and today this is going to be like the ninth episode in the series. Hopefully you guys are all enjoying it up to this point. We went through every ELO uh, and give and I've given my you know tips and tricks on how to improve and what to focus on in there and it's just been a lot of content that's uh, hopefully going to help you guys up your game altogether. Today we're still going to do part two of the uh, of the 1700 to 1800 range and we have the second uh, replay from Skiller stuff to go through. And then finally next week will be the final episode of the series where I will play a ranked game and that's going to be for the 1900 to 2k ELO range and that's going to be me just summarizing everything we've learned and showcasing it in one random ranked game that I'll win or lose it doesn't really matter but we'll see I don't know how it's going to go up to now it hasn't happened so anyway without further ado let's just hop right into the second uh, uh, the second replay that I have from skill yourself we saw last week how we played Huns or sorry Franks against Nagurs this time he's playing Huns against Byzantine so it's another cavalry sift from him let's take a look at it and load this replay all right, very good. So he's actually playing against Survivalist, which is another uh, Canadian uh, Twitch streamer. I may or may not link Survivalist's uh, uh, or Twitch stream in the description below of this video. Um, I, I may or may not. I want to do it. I just hope I remember, okay? Because uh, I'm going to be uploading this in like 10 weeks time. So I hope Survivalist will get a shout out. If not, definitely check him out on Twitch or YouTube. He does some good Age of Empire content. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and introduce the players. So Scare Stuff playing in blue as the Huns and Survivalist is playing in red as the Byzantine. Let's go back to our perspective now and watch from the Fog of War as we comment on Scare Stuff's decision making and his plays and see what he does well and what he's lacking in uh, in his gameplay, okay? What he can improve on and what we can learn from his Alright, very nice. So again, when it's the Dark Age, you guys have heard me talk about Dark Age a lot this series. It's very, it's the same almost every time, and that's why I put so much emphasis on Dark Age in the early game, or in the early parts of the series, just because you want to master it before moving on to the other harder topics, or other harder stages of the game, so... Uh, as you can see, Skiller Self has, I don't want to say mastered Dark Age, but I would say he's he's got it to a pretty decent level to the point where he's able to execute it very well consistently. And as we can see, he's just going to go for his wood, and he's going to go ahead and scout his map in arcs, and he was scouting with sheep earlier. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty standard. Nothing more to comment here. In this time, you should also be... Um, you should also be thinking of what to do in the matchup. So it's Huns versus Byzantines. Byzantines are known for their cheaper trash units and cheaper camels as well. Um, and so, you know, one thing to consider as Huns is that a lot of your units will be cavalry units. So if you have to go up against cheaper camels and cheaper pikes, it might be a little bit problematic. So for that reason, maybe the best thing to do is to start out by playing some archer rush or maybe some men at arms into archers to avoid getting into those positions where you're getting completely countered. Um, and I think the best thing to do is probably to make a mix of gold units to a point where- Oh, I don't like this. He's, he's running his scout right past something he's already explored. He should have scouted it in an arc. So, again, that's definitely a mistake. But I think he's doing that because he's missing some sheep. I don't know. Um, it should have been in an arc, though. That's actually just a mistake. Uh, so, again, some, some minor scouting issues in Dark Age. Not a huge deal, but something to consider. It's my job to mention it here, and so we can all hopefully learn from it. So yeah, like I said, so think about the matchup. I think at some point in this game, if, if Skirsov really wants to consistently get a good ma uh, get a good time with Byzantine, I think he's going to have to have some sort of mix of crossbow and knights. Because if you make just one unit, Byzantine makes the counter, and that's not going to work. So I think he needs to mix crossbow and knights. And if he makes just one unit, he might get countered out. So let's see. He's going to find his sheep now. We'll see if he decides to lure a uh, a deer. I don't think he I don't think he has to. He de he definitely doesn't have to, but he could if he wants to. At this yellow, it's definitely okay to pick up a deer. As we're seeing, he's luring in the deer. Um, I, I would prefer if he scouts for his first two sheep or his next two sheep first, but that's okay. He might have thought he got lamed or whatnot. I'm not sure. All right, so he's pulling in his second elephant here, going on to the uh, berries. As you can see, he's doing three on wood with Huns. I'm pretty like certain that skill yourself is going to go for a scout rush builder. It has to be a scout rush builder. No out of time to TC. Very nice deer lure. Okay, cool. This is the ninth guy. Those who are just watching, I know we're still going on here. K1, the editors in the chat here. Um, he's going to have a nice time uploading these one week at a time to YouTube. Uh, so let's sort of shout out there. Um, but yeah, we're seeing a pretty standard build here for uh, for skill yourself with the unplay. So definitely not too bad here. 
All right, now he's scouting his opponent a lot faster. Last game, he was idling a lot more than he was this time. So again, this time he didn't go for 19 pop. It was a bit of an easier build. So he's going to go scout his opponent right now. It does seem like he's down two sheep. He does have a deer extra to show for it. He's going to go for 21 pop scout. So this is basically exactly the build that I have in my Discord. And... Um, and he's, uh, he's just going to be executing it pretty nicely here. Four on berries, three on wood. The next build should go to wood. Yeah, it's a little bit inefficient, but uh, yeah, sending it to wood would be a little bit better. He'll take these two sheep. Cool. He's down two sheep, so I don't blame him. Survivalist may have st stole his sheep, so that's good. Okay, <clears throat> and yeah, so now he's just gonna be going to his uh, his second wood wood camp. And uh, wait, what is he gonna go for forward? Wait, I don't know what's happening here. Wait, what what is happening here? I, I don't like this. I think he wants to go for a forward. Okay, so he's bringing in the next two sheep. This is weird. No, I don't I don't like this. Uh, he wants to go forward. He wants to go to gold. Guys, I'm confused. He he's gonna go forward. This doesn't make sense. Going for I think this is gonna be a disaster, guys. Going forward versus Byzantine is a really bad idea. For a few reasons, actually. I should explain this. I should explain this before it happens, because if you go forward, scouts lose their value because you're fighting really close to your opponent. So what ends up being better is skirmisher and spearman. Skirmisher and spearman become the best units uh in, in close combat and feudal age. Guys, who's got the cheapest spear and skirm combo in the game? Oh, why? It's Byzantine. So going forward with Byzantine, not the best idea at all. Like this is actually quite bad. So while Huns, I agree, have a good forward because you don't need Huns. Um, it's it's not a good idea to to forward Byzantine a lot of the time. So I'm not I'm not a fan of this. I prefer if he just played Scouts from home and then adapted into some crossbows and Castle Age. Uh, I think it'd be much better. Uh, he's gonna go instead with the forward with the the uh, this, you know the barracks forward. Um, you don't need houses, sorry. You don't need houses with hunts. Sorry about that. And I don't wanna... I think that's... I think that was a range. Yeah, that was an, actually an archer range, so... Um... Oh... Survivalist is gonna go for a range opening, which is like the perfect reaction to this. Guys, I... This is not looking good. This is not looking good. He's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna go Spear Skirm. Uh, you know, as I thought, but... I don't think he's going to have a good time against Byzantine here. I think Byzantine should have the upper upper hand. So right now, I'm seeing just a mistaken strategy, simply. Uh, a mistaken strategy, and um, it's it's it might lead to disaster. Okay, we'll see. I mean, it, it, he can still win if he executes better, but let's see. Yeah, Byzantine also get free town watch, by the way. It must be mentioned. So Byzantine free town watch will let them see you coming in from a lot longer, or a lot further away. Okay, so now he's going to send his villagers away. I, I can see the idea, by the way. His idea is to, de is to deny the stones so his opponent can't respond with towers. It's not a bad idea. It does look like Survivalist is going archers. I thought, he was gonna be I thought he'd be going skirms. We have to adapt and go skirms anyways. And skirm spear is coming out. And now, obviously, Survivalist knows exactly what's happening. He knows that he's he just saw the villagers. He just saw the spearmen. So Survivalist knows exactly what's happening. And now Skill Yourself is going to make a tower here. This tower is better a little bit further uh, forward to deny some farms. But the point of this tower is to deny the stone. So it's actually not a bad one. And it also gives him a good control of this area. Yeah, so Survivalist, yeah, Survivalist wanted to go archers with Byzantine. He was going to go for an archer rush. And it looks like the skirmish from, uh, from Skill Yourself are doing quite well, actually. This is more than I thought he'd get from the skirmish or spearman play. Looks like he's doing pretty well, but the villagers are now coming forward to fight. And this is now going to be a very scrappy game. So if you guys like this kind of games, then, well, you came to the right place. Personally, I do find them really hard to commentate because you don't know exactly or commentate in an educational fashion. Uh, because you don't know exactly who's winning. But right now, I would say that uh, I, I would say that Survivalist is getting a better trade because he's going to be killing the tower here. Uh, and that's a pretty big deal. Um, yeah, Skill Yourself kind of lost his Spearman too early there, and uh, this is turning into a kind of the disaster very fast. And again, this is kind of why you don't want to rush Byzantine. They see you from a lot further, and now we might see some skirmishers from Survivalists to just defend this straight up. Alright. 
Okay, so now we're seeing, you know, once the first tower fails, let's go ahead and tab back to his base, see what's happening here. It's not bad, he's making some farms, he's got some vills on berries. It's the standard build. Basically, going forward, think about it like it's the same build as scouts, uh, except instead of making scouts, you're making spears and skirms, uh, and you make some, uh, some, and you get some towers as well. Alright, so now, well, let's do some skirmishes from Skill Yourself, and I like that he's pressuring because he has no reason not to at this point. Uh, he came forward to pressure, so he should be harassing his opponent as much as possible. And this is good damage. He's, he's, idling, he's idling Survivalist quite a bit. So Survivalist, I think he's not reacting perfectly to this. He needs Skirmishers himself. Yep, there it is. Skirmish himself. And uh, that 1 HP scout's going to die. Good micro from Skill Yourself. I've said this before. I wish I can see if his Skirmishers are on stand ground or not. Um, but uh, but nonetheless, Skill Yourself is playing quite solidly here. Sniping away units and just constantly pressuring his opponent uh, and making it and making sure his opponent isn't getting a free pass with his economy. This is so much damage. Well played, Skiller Self. This is amazing. This is amazing pressure. I think Survivus is making a lot of mistakes here, pressure or er, defending this. He now gets a defensive tower. He's kind of panicking here though, and I don't think Skiller Self should make the tower. Yeah, make it right here. Make it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Very, very nice. So this just seems like he's got some experience playing this kind of messy game. Maybe he played in the past where this was a bit more popular. He's getting fletching. This is a very nice gameplay. Uh, this is a very nice rush from Skill Yourself. I, I, I still stand my ground. I don't think it's the best thing to do against Byzantine. Um, but he's making it work. So far at least. Alright, so now there's going to be a tower right behind this wood line, so that's something that, you know, Survivalist is another, it's another thing he's got to deal with. Walling in the tower is very important. At this stage, you need to be thinking ahead. Forward is all about adapting. So at this point, I think Skill Yourself should try to switch into a stable. The reason you want to switch into a stable is because Survivalist is very likely to make a lot of skirms to defend this. And Knights want to play on Cavalry at some point. So switching into Scouts is a very logical transition for, uh, for Skill Yourself. A, because, well, it makes sense logically as I just explained, and B, because he's got a lot of food stockpiling. That's one option. His other option is to save till Castle Age and then make a big knight transition at that point. Both are just as viable. Let's see which one he decides to go for. Yeah, for now he gets armor. That's actually not needed in this case, believe it or not, because skirmis versus skirmishers, you don't actually need armor. It does absolutely nothing. But getting armor on skirmish will help defend making scouts and, ar and other archers and villagers, so it's quite nice. Uh, so, okay, let's see. Skill yourself, he's, he's wrapping around. I like that he's being super active with his military, and I think he got a, he got a snipe on that farm as well. Yeah, I always say, like, Skill yourself's micro has been the... Okay. I say that as he cancels the shot, but his micro has been the best part of his gameplay so far, from what I've seen. From what I've seen. Why is armor not needed skirm versus skirm? Because a skirm does 2 plus 1 damage with fletching, and a skirm also has 3 armor. So an extra armor doesn't actually help you negate attack. They still get, take damage because it's a bonus damage, but armor doesn't help against bonus damage. Okay? Uh, and there it is. So again, skill yourself putting a lot of pressure. We're seeing another range from survivalists. This is double reason for skill yourself to now be dropping some stables. Unless his plan is to save for Castleage and go Knights in Castleage. I actually, if I had to pick a position, I would pick Skill Yourself's position any day of the week. It's a much better uh, it's a much better position in the game now because he can easily transition into some Knights and he can easily uh, uh, clean up Survivalist in the late game. Uh, in the late Castleage, or sorry, in early Castleage, what am I saying? <laughs> so if, you know, if he gets fast to Castleage, he can easily make Knights to clean him up. Survivalist is now forced to survive, and uh, yeah, nice little pun there, Hera. And uh, he's gonna kill a tower on top. Uh, but Huns are getting now a pretty big advantage uh, in the Feudal Age, which is something that shouldn't happen with Byzantine in this kind of gameplay. Byzantine should have uh, the advantage playing Skirm Spear. Alright? Again, good constant pressure by, by, uh, by Skill Yourself. But he's a bit late to gold. I would have liked to see him go on gold a little bit earlier. His economy has been a bit messy at home. Again, it's normal that this is the case because he's going forward. And there's the stable. Very, very nice. So at this point, maybe make a couple scouts. Or maybe just wait till, till Castle Age. At this point, I'd say wait till Castle Age. Just because you might as well wait till Castle Age before showing that your opponent that you have showing your opponent they have stables. Another good snipe. His micro has been really good. His pressure has been really good. Alright. 
So if you take a look at the vote count, it's pretty neck and neck. Skill yourself just ahead one or two. And uh, and yeah, now he's just going to retreat a little bit. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's go back here. He's not making a lot of scouts. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I think going castle age would have been much better. Let's pause and think about this for a second. He's going to go foraging and a lot of scouts. If you go scouts in feudal age, he can never really kill the talent center. He can never really run under it too much. You can run under it a little bit, but... You can't completely raid under the town center, and if your opponent has a lot of skirms and spears, he can defend your scouts, but he can never defend knights. Like, just a few knights in early castleage will completely clear all the army and completely raid your opponents while being able to run under the uh, town center. So I think at this point, because you're so close to castleage, that going to castleage is much better. You have a lot on gold as well. This is a mistake that might actually cost him the game here. I still think he's ahead doing this. It's not a bad play per se. I just feel like there's better plays for him. If that makes sense. Like, this is the bad play in comparison to just going up and making two stable knights. Alright, let's take a look. So again, I understand the play with the scouts. I like that he's getting foraging first because armor on scouts. For the same reason that armor on skirm doesn't help them. Armor on scouts doesn't help them against other skirmishers. Skirmishers will always do one damage in feudal age against scouts. Uh, and, and now, sure, now we're seeing skill yourself wrap around to this right side just to find some more harass. He's been attacking the whole game, which is exactly what you expect from a forward and exactly what you want. Again, if he didn't invest into foraging, he'd actually be up to cast later at this point uh, if he canceled those two scouts as well. But he's actually committing to it fully. And let's see if it pays off personally. I, like I said, I think the Knight's Plane Castle would have been better. Uh, the, these scouts are going to go in, and Survivalist is simply going to run back to his town center. And now, because you don't have bloodlines and because you don't have armor, you can't run under the town center. It's exactly what I mentioned becoming a reality. The scouts are good versus skirmishers, but they can't really raid, raid under the town center. And now Survivalist will just wall up. You can't do this. He's going to lose too much HP here. And now he's going Castle Age, but it's a minute behind what he could have gotten. And he's gonna go for the second stable. So listen, this is really good. This is really good gameplay. But it's not perfect. Alright, it's not perfect. It's really good, but it's not perfect. Uh, he has the right idea. He's just. Yeah, he's making skirms now. That's not a good. That's not really the best choice right now. Best choice right now is to go up to uh, Castle Age and go like literally three stable knights all in. And the reason you wanna do that is because knights solve all your problems here. They completely clear everything. Whereas now, if you make scouts, you're kind of half assing it. Survivalist is now preparing some spears. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's not the best uh, decision to make the scouts here. Horse Collar just now coming in. He didn't get the eco upgrades because he was going forward. Obviously, it's understandable. And by the way, if Survivalist was really playing well, Survivalist would actually wall the stables now to prevent Skill Yourself from making nice and Castle Age. But, you know, Skill Yourself, he's now preparing. He's saying, okay, let's get Bloodlines. He might get armor later as well. And he might decide to go for some three stable knights in Castle Age. Maybe at least two stable. I think he's going to drop a third, though, if I... If I, if I can read the game logically, it makes sense to add a third here. Survivalist is also up to Castle now and mixing in Pikemen. So again, that minute behind, that minute behind that Sirius have slowed him, himself down with is actually what's causing his opponent to stabilize here. Okay, Survivalist will move forward some skirms. I don't know what Survivalist is doing behind this. I imagine he's either doing Pikes or he's doing a stable transition to make Camels. Yeah, he can go Camels here. So anyway, the army's going to go attack him. Immediately going for some knights, getting the armor upgrade as well. Uh, he's going to go for the fourth siege instead of the third stable. I kind of like this. I think it's a good idea. Uh, you know, anything forward is, is, is what you need to do here. Don't add town centers if you skill yourself. First of all, you can't because you have only 13, uh, 13 stone. But also, you shouldn't look to add it because you want to go all in now. And the town center will... Sure, it's a good investment for long term. You get more villagers produced. You know, you get more resources. It's not very efficient uh, in the short term. So in the short term, it actually lets you lose resources. So now Scare Yourself is forced to go back and defend uh, because obviously uh, Survivalist sent his army forward. Survivalist probably looped around and went back home. Well, let's be honest. Uh, no, he's actually hiding his army here. We don't know this though. So Scare Yourself is going to just patrol around here. This is a good decision though from Scare Yourself to defend himself first. And now we're seeing a stable transition. Yeah, two stable camels from Survivalist. And Byzantine have cheaper camels. So again, now it looks like it's a position where Survivalist is actually going to be winning. Um, I, now, from this position, I prefer Survivalist's uh, position. I prefer to be Survivalist. Even though Skill Yourself will clean up these skirmishers. Which is actually going to be a very nice cleanup. 
His uh, his unit is the Knights, and the Byzantine Cheaper Cam will completely clear that up. And again, I said at the start of this game that if you want to win this game, Skiller Stuff would have to go for something that would let him um, that would let him have a combination of units. So like Knights Mulks or Knights Crossbows or Knights Siege. And uh, Knight Siege is probably the weakest one. He's now going to get the Monastery, which is the, a really good option. But if you just go with like one one main unit, like the, like in this case, the Camels should be able to clean you up. Uh, the Monastery and the Siege do help out though, I do like that. So maybe some more Scorpions and maybe some, um, some Monks to help counter the Camels could be good. At this point, you need a lot of gold. I'm pretty sure Skill Yourself forgot to get the gold money upgrade. It's, that's two games in a row that he forgot it. So I'm going to tell you, Skill Yourself, reminder here. Let me just make sure that he forgot it uh, or that he didn't get it. Um, Yeah, oh, he hasn't gotten double bid axe either. So his economy is completely terrible at home. He only has horse collar right now. Um, So this is actually a very, very bad position economically for Skill Yourself. If he doesn't win with this push, he's probably going to lose the game because he's missing out on double bid axe and he's missing out on gold landing upgrade this whole time. So that's like such a such a long time of, of gathering that he could have benefited from those. And now there's so many camels because they're so cheap and survivors will take a big fight. And this is no way Skill Yourself wins this fight. There's no way on the planet, not even on any planet, in the entire solar system that, uh, that, um, that, survive, uh, that Skill Yourself will win this fight. So again, it's complete cleanup. Again, this is why you can't have only one unit against Byzantine. They're going to go for, you know, one unit to clean you up uh, because they have a cheaper counter unit and the GG well played has dropped. And there it is. So exactly what I predicted from the start of the match because I thought about the matchup and I figured you can't go with one unit as Huns. Um, you know, you, you'd really need to go for a combination of units to win. And he went for one unit in Imperial Age, or in the, in the Castle Age, sorry. And he didn't have time to get monks yet and siege to support it. So one unit for, for Huns, one unit for Byzantine will always be better because they just counter. And the GG is called here. Well played to Survivalist. And well played to Skill Yourself for showcasing these games. It's honestly pretty brave to showcase games like this on stream. Where you have, you know, the potential for me to roast you. Let's get a round of hair claps in the chat. And just give them well played to both of them. Um, and, you know, these guys are both really nice really nice people. As you can see, the respect is there. GG well played called from Skill Yourself. And Survivalist is a really nice streamer as well. Uh, who's, uh, yeah, who's, who's very nice to listen to. GG well played. And that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will be me playing a ranked game and wrapping up the series. Hopefully, this has been educational. Hopefully, it's been, uh, you know, just entertaining in general. And hopefully, you'll learn something. Take care. See you guys next week.